Hi guys and welcome to our channel. We are Anna and Edward or two curly heads wandering. This episode will give you a glimpse of the beautiful city of Canterbury. In the heart of Canterbury, where cobblestone streets wind like the path of destiny, love writes its own timeless tale. As the sunlight dances through the ancient cathedral's stained glass windows, it casts a golden glow upon the charming town, illuminating its romantic essence. Canterbury Cathedral is more than a structure of stone, it's a sanctuary of the soul, a beacon of hope and reverence that stands as a timeless symbol of faith and human effort. Each carved pillar and sculptured facade tells a story of devotion and devotion, a testament of the artisans who pour their hearts into every detail. Pilgrims from across the globe journey to its doors, seeking solace and inspiration in its timeless beauty. The cathedral is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was founded in 597 AD and has been a center of pilgrimage for centuries, particularly since the murder of the Archbishop Thomas Becker there in 1170. Canterbury is perhaps best known for its historical and religious significance as the seat of the Archbishop of Canterbury, the leader of the Church of England and the worldwide Anglican Communion. The last entrance is at 4 p.m and you will enjoy a free entry to a large part of the cathedral. Unfortunately, we've missed the opportunity to go inside because we were there at 5 past 4, but for sure we will return and we will enjoy all the beauty that we will find inside. To be honest with you, we were late for the cathedral because we stopped at the oldest pub in Canterbury called the Parrot. The Parrot is dating back to 14th century and it's a traditional English pub with a cozy atmosphere serving a selection of beers, ales and pub food. The original name of the pub was given after the monks of St. Radigans. The building itself has retained much of its history charm, making it a popular spot for locals and visitors alike to enjoy a drink and soak in the city's history.
Of course, we couldn't have missed the opportunity to have lunch in one of the oldest pubs in the city. Imagine how many love stories, how many fights, how many good laughs these walls have witnessed. Low ceilings, the good food and the smell of ale are making this place so cozy and welcoming. Canterbury, it's not only home to an oldest pub, but it's home to one of the oldest schools in the world. And it's not necessarily the absolute oldest. The King's School in Canterbury is often cited as one of the oldest schools in continuous existence, with roots tracing back to establishment of the King's School by St. Augustine in 597 AD. This makes it one of the oldest schools in the English-speaking world. While it's certainly ancient and has a strong claim to being one of the oldest, determining the absolute oldest school can be challenging due to the lack of precise historical record. The streets of Canterbury wave through centuries of history lined with charming timber frame buildings, cobblestone pathways and bustling shops. Quaint alleyways beacon with hidden gems while the majestic Canterbury Cathedral towers above, casting a timeless shadow over the city's winding lanes vibrant with the pulse of daily life and infused with echoes of pilgrims past. Canterbury streets are a captivating blend of medieval charm and modern vitality. While roaming on the streets we have discovered this amazing food market. The Goods Shed is a vibrant farmer's market and food hall located next to Canterbury West Railway Station. The market features a restaurant that serves delicious meals made with ingredients sourced directly from the market vendors. The restaurant emphasized seasonal and sustainable cooking, creating dishes that highlight the quality and freshness of the local products. We have bought a jar of grapefruit jam, some shortbread and a bottle of organic wine from this shop. We have spent around 5 hours in Canterbury, but this city needs much more than that. It took us around an hour and a half from London by car will take you around the same time if you plan to travel by train and the tickets for this journey start from 12 pounds and 30 pence when you book in advance If you are planning to visit Canterbury, add on your bucket list locations and activities such as Canterbury Roman Museum, St. Augustine Abbey, Canterbury Tales Visitor Attraction, Canterbury Festivals, Marlowe Theatre and so on.
We haven't covered all of this in this episode, but we are planning to return and to do a full tour of the city. If you remember, in the beginning of this episode, we have talked about Thomas Becker. He engaged in conflict with Henry II, King of England, over the rights and privileges of the church, and he was murdered by followers of the king in Canterbury Cathedral. While I was filming this, one of the locals approached me and he said that Thomas Becker, when he was killed, they have kept his blood in the crypt at the Canterbury Cathedral. We do not know if this is true or not, or if it's a legend, so if anyone knows, please, let us know in the comment section. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Take care!